Okay, so we move on to the next part, task B3 in uh, spreadsheets. Okay, so over here it says open a new word processing document, enter task B3, your name, candidate number, center number in the header, and save the document as task B3. So I'm going to go into my folder, which is uh, over here. I'm going to right click and say I want a new word document. Okay, and the name of the document is task B3. Let's put it in capital letters. And immediately go into the header. Okay, so we come into the header, double click and open the header. Task B3, your name, your candidate number, and your center number. Okay, All right. So then the question paper goes on to say, Medi wants you to create a suitable chart to display the garden size references and their costs. The chart must include a suitable title, X and Y axis label. Okay, so what? before we go through these points, let us first get the chart. Okay, let us first get the chart. So she wants a suitable, cha a suitable chart to display the garden size references and their costs. Okay, so garden size references. So now we are going to, uh, what do you call, uh, so, uh, unfilter this. Okay, we're going to unfilter this now because the, this activity is complete. And let's also unhide column B. Let's also unhide it. Okay, so they want us to uh, show the garden size references and the costs. So for makeover, how much it costs for size one, for size two, for size three, for size four, and then also for lawn care, how much does each size cost? Okay, that's what that's that's a chart that they want us to create. Okay, so what we will do is they haven't told us specifically what chart to create. So what we'll do is we'll first select the data. So we need to show the garden size reference. And now I need to also select makeover. I need to select the values over here. So I'll be using the control key, okay? Because I'm selecting something non-continuous. Now, if it is continuous with the mouse, I can go and select, but I do not want this column. I want to jump to this column. So I press the control key and select this column and then also select this column, okay? So the question paper said, show the garden size references, show the pricing for makeover, show the pricing for lawn care. Now I come to insert and I ask the computer, what do you recommend as a chart? So from here, you look and you decide what is the chart that you can understand easily. Okay, That is the easiest to understand. So for me, the first chart looks the easiest to understand. Second, no. Third, no. Fourth could also be taken. The fourth is also fine. I'll simply go with the first one. And I say, okay, so we have a bar chart over here. Okay. Now, in this chart, let's go through. So the first thing is a suitable title, okay? So a suitable title could be, uh, shall we say, garden, we can say makeover and lawn care charges based on size based on garden size, something like this, okay? Now this is a title, so you have to make it look like a title. So I'm gonna bold it, I'm going to underline it, control B, control U. The next thing is X and Y axis labels, okay? So this is the X axis and this is the Y axis, but there are no labels yet. So when you click on your chart, you can see there's a plus symbol here, there's a plus button, you click on it and say you want the axis titles also visible, okay? So over here we say cost, this side, the y-axis shows us the cost and the x-axis shows us the garden size reference. Okay. The next thing the question tells us is appropriate legends and series names. Okay. So uh, that is already done. So it shall, tells us that blue is makeover, orange is lawn care. Okay. The legend is already, already visible. Okay, as you can see, blue is makeover, orange is long care. Uh, major and minor grid lines. So let's also make the grid lines visible. So let's click plus and uh, say that the grid lines, where is the grid line, grid line, grid lines. Let's click on this and say we want the major and minor both. Okay, so tick, tick, tick. Okay, we want all of them visible. Okay, right. The next thing the paper says is save the spreadsheet as chart. Okay, let's do that. So F12 can be used again to save as, shortcut key for save as. 
save it as chart, say okay. Uh, the next thing the paper tells is copy the chart or take a screenshot of the chart. Paste the chart into document task B3. Make sure the chart is easy to read. Do not print at this stage. Okay. So we copy the chart, copy, come into task B3, and we paste it over here. Okay. So they said make sure it's easy to read. So I'll just make it slightly bigger. Okay. That looks better. Okay, do not print. Task A3B, okay. So answer these questions in the document task B3. So it says, look at figure one. So when you have a picture over here, this is figure one, okay. And then the first question is, state the result of using the length function on the contents of cell A1. So there is a function called length, okay. And the length function, basically, it counts the number of characters in a cell. So depending on the cell that you have, selected it will count the number of characters okay so here we are asking what would the result be if for cell a1 so in cell a1 we have these characters so you will have to count how many characters or characters are over here and that would be the result okay so i think it would be for example garden has uh, uh, six characters and there's a space seven characters shed has four characters so that will be 11 there's a space that will become 12 then size has another four, it'll become 16. There's a space 17. In is 18, that'll become 19. There's a space, so 20 characters. And then meters has how many characters? Six characters altogether. 26 characters you will get, okay? When you use the length function, you will be getting 26 characters from A1 because you have this text in A1, okay? Right, so let's mention that over here. We can simply say, uh, the length, we can just say the LEN function would uh, tell us the number of characters in A1, which is 26. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, right. The next question says, describe how the function equal product A4 to C4 and then two works, okay? So product is a function for multiplying values, okay? So product is the function we use when we want to multiply values, okay? So when you say equal product A4 to C4, it means take the values from A4 to C4 and keep multiplying them. So the value in A4 is four, multiplied by the value in B4, which is also four, which is three, multiplied by the value in C4, which is three, okay? So multiply four times three times three, and then there is also a two, comma two multiplied by two, okay? So describe how the function works. So we can very simply say, okay, the product function, sorry, the product function is used to multiply values, okay? So the answer would be what? Four times three times three times two. So it will be equal four times three times three, times two, okay? Because A4 to C4, no? so A4, B4, C4, and then have to multiply by two. The third question, give one benefit of using functions in spreadsheets, okay? So there are two things. You have formulas and you have functions. So formulas are, formulas are you select the values and you decide how these values, whether they're going to be added or multiplied or subtracted or divided, okay? That's a formula. A function, you select the function and it does all the operations for you. So for example, you have the function of VLOOKUP. So in VLOOKUP, you only select the cell addresses, the calculating part and all, the function will see and do it for you. You don't have to define how the calculations have to be done. Now in a formula, you define add or subtract or multiply or divide, you no know, brackets, you define how everything happens. But in a function, you don't define, you only select the cell addresses, okay? So you can very simply say, in a function, the user does not, the user only has to select the correct cell addresses, uh, defining of how the function, defining of how calculations should be done is not needed in functions, okay? 
So basically, I told you, for example, if you use lookup, if you use VLOOKUP, if you use the if condition, or if you use some auto sum product, okay, if you use all these functions, you don't define the calculation part. You only define the cell addresses. You only tell which cells to take into calculation. You don't define whether to multiply or divide or subtract or add or brackets. None of that you do. However, in a formula, you will be doing all. In the formula, you will say equal this cell address plus this cell address, or this cell address divided by this cell address. In a formula, you define the calculation that has to be done. But in a function, you don't. Okay, you only mention the cell addresses. Okay, right. So I think with that, we have come to the end of the spreadsheet activity. Save task B3, print task B3. Okay, we can then go on to print it. Okay. And with that, we have come to the end of the uh, spreadsheet activity. Okay, so next we have task B4, where I think we will have to be designing a leaflet. Okay, so I hope things are going well. If it is, if you're having difficulties, questions, anything popping up in your head, uh, do check the description of the video. Details have been provided. Okay, okay. See you guys in the next video.